others. Others are actually pursuing their next dream. Sherry Daniels is here with a story about just such a graduate. Sherry? Thanks, Paul. Mark Eschbau graduated magna cum laude from UMass Lowell just this May with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in photography. But things haven't slowed down much for him since then. He's been busy applying for scholarships to go towards his master's program. He's been working his annual summer job and, of course, honing his painting, drawing, and photography skills. Yes, I generally try and create situations that uh, don't necessarily exist naturally. You can say that again. It took Mark Eschbau over a month just to figure out how to create this illusion of body parts in ice, but his dedication paid off. These photographs were recently shown in Boston's first expressions gallery. His love for the world of art has paid off in other ways, too. Mark just received a $500 scholarship from Chelmsford's Art Society to help kick off his master's program at the Savannah College of Art and Design. And the 22-year-old recently completed a substitute art teaching position at Tingsboro's Notre Dame Academy. I've had some great teachers, and I'd like to be able to give the feeling that they gave me an encouragement as well to someone else. In 10 years of painting, drawing, and taking photographs, Mark considers one of his greatest achievements to be what he calls the creation of the twin roll. I modified a camera so that uh, both rolls of film are exposed at the same time, which is something, to my knowledge, no one else has ever done. Mark leaves for Georgia to enter the next phase of his art career in just a few weeks. He has kept busy painting all summer painting houses, that is, but he says the sacrifices he and his family have made over the years are definitely worth it. I think I'll continue to do work for as long as I'm able. Um, whether it's good or bad, I'll continue to do it. After Eshbao completes his two-year program at Savannah's College of Art and Design, he says he hopes to go into teaching full-time. By the way, the Chelmsford Art Society offers scholarships to one local artist each year. Look for those applications at the Chelmsford's two libraries, Town Hall and the area schools. They will should be out by early spring. Very good. Good luck to Mark. Yes. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. Well, still to come, a celebration kicks off a movement to take city streets back from criminals. We'll tell you all about it.